Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yan Ying and in my channel I will talk about electrical engineering experiences as well as whatever things that you call tips. If you are a student and you just graduated university with an electrical engineering degree, I would like to wish you congratulations for stepping out university. The next big question is, where do I start? There are so many jobs around in the job searching website like LinkedIn, Jobstreet, Monster, Indeed, whatever you name it. There are a ton of jobs that just say electrical engineer. First, I'm going to roughly walk you through on the sectors available for an electrical engineer and then later on I will drill down to the job type that is available for electrical engineers. The primary sector is a sector where the raw material is extracted or oil and gas is able to mine fuels or natural gas or where power generation is created such as hydropower, solar power, wind energy and coal burning as well as nuclear power etc. Uh, that is what we call the primary sector. The secondary sector which is usually the manufacturing sector. Manufacturer and supplier work very closely in order to get the materials, the raw materials processed and assembled together to produce a solution to the customer. And that is what secondary sector does. The end product of the secondary sector can be battery transformers, MSB boards, UPS boards, or it can also be wire, light bulbs, circuit breakers, things that we use in our day-to-day -day life and things that you see in the commercial buildings or in office buildings. The secondary sector would then provide all these solutions to the end client. The end user usually comprise of the construction sector, the oil and gas sector, and wherever places or buildings that requires the electrical system to be inside it. However, throughout these three processes, all the electrical related items are closely tied to compliance and standards in order to keep the end user, which is the public like us, like people like us, to use things safely. And that is why the compliance and standard boards are always there to ensure the compliance is fully obeyed and fully checked. In each country, we all have our own compliance board to ensure the safety of our electrical equipments used in our life. For Malaysia instance, we have Serum Malaysia. However, for the US, we have Underwriters Laboratory. And for Russia, they have the TUV. For European countries, they would have the CE and you may refer to the information at the link below. To quickly move on, the job functions that are available for a primary sector can be the maintenance engineer or a field service engineer which is more commonly seen in order to ensure the plant is running alright, the plant needed a maintenance or needed a part change and that's the type of engineer that can work in the primary sector. In a secondary sector, you can see there are a lot more job functions for an electrical engineer to play their part because when it comes to assembling a product or coming up with a full solution to the customer, it involves a lot more job processes and job flows. Starting with an order by a client, a design engineer can play their part to do the design of the product, which involves the calculation, the technical details of what are the requirements requested by the client. After all the calculation, the things are ready to be assembled and to be produced, which also brings to the next job, which is the assembly or production engineer. So an assembly or production engineer plays their role in ensuring assembly is done right, production is done right, to oversee what is needed to be installed and how is it installed correctly. Next, we have the project engineer. Project engineer usually monitors the timeline directly deal with the client on shipping on when is the timeline required for the item to be shipped out and what are their technical requirements required in order for them to bring back the information to the company and to change up the design. How do projects come into a company? That is when a sales engineer function comes into play. Sales engineer's job is to find potential clients and customer in order to secure a, an order from them and that brings revenue to the company. Sales engineer is very close to what you mean as a salesperson for the technical item. A test engineer would do the test and commissioning on the item to ensure that item works according to the standards, the item works function well, 
without exploding and to ensure that the things are ready to be shipped out in good condition. A quality assurance engineer usually ensure that the technical requirements or the design made by engineer is compliance to the standard of the local country itself or obey the international standards if required. Lastly, we have the end user, which is the contractor or usually the end package contractor, which they run the project, the overall project of installing electric, mechanical, civil construction, architecture, everything. And that also includes the role of an electrical engineer when it comes to installing the remaining item. And usually in the project, you will see similar job roles like design engineer, project engineer, the test and commissioning engineer, but with a few more maybe different job roles than a secondary sector in which you will see is something like a planning engineer, which they monitor more on the timeline and the project costs to assist the project manager. So planning engineer do mostly on the planning side and not the technical end. However, test and commissioning engineer would be a bit different from the secondary sector as well because the test engineer on the end user would have to test integrated systems between electrical and mechanical systems, electrical with fire systems, and overall, as an overall on how a building works. However, in the secondary industry, test engineer only test their expertise product, which doesn't go more than that scope. Additionally, you will also see site engineers, and site engineer, what they do is monitor the installation that's ongoing on site, which involves the physical installation of how the routing of a cable is linking one system to another. So it oversees the entire project of a building instead of purely an electrical equipment. I personally haven't been able to work with a standard compliance board before or with any lo local authorities or standard organizations. So I could only roughly talk about the jobs that might be available for that sector. So as for the standard sector, just to name a few possibilities that they might require is something like a safety engineer who knows the safety requirements required for the public. What are the standards that is the threshold of electricity or the standards to keep people safe. And next is also project engineer in order to lead huge projects to check standards of huge projects. Then we also have technical officers in order to, to come together to decide if anything require amendment or changes that is required to apply for the entire uh, electrical industry for the country itself. Next, we also have material tester, which they would do testing on labs or testing on particular subject matter expert in order to maybe change up certain requirements if needed or to check if the compliance requires any changes from time to time with new innovation or new technology. And last but not least, we also have the role of an inspector. The role of an inspector, usually they represent the standard or compliance organization in order to go to site to inspect uh, the entire running of the electrical system to ensure that things are good enough or safe enough for the common public to use. There are also job possibilities for an engineer to be a quantity surveyor for electrical products for a huge project, a quantity surveyor is needed especially with technical knowledge to know what are the parts that are specified or whether do we require such a uh, such selected part. Is it over, spec, over specification or under specification? And a quantity surveyor with an engineering background will be able to point that out. Next, it can also be a software or IT engineer because uh, an electrical engineer would have, have some programming language background regardless is it C or C sharp or whatever uh, computer programming that we have learned in university at least for a bit. So an electrical engineer can always reroute or detour their career path to be a software or IT engineer. And there is no one size fit all theory again that an electrical engineer have to do electrical engineer job. You are always free to do any jobs by the end of the day. And I hope that with today's sharing, I am able to expose a few jobs or jobs that you never thought that it could exist in the electrical industry, especially to graduates or students who are just about to start hunting for a job now. I totally understand that the concept of electrical engineer is so vague and there's so many 
there's so many drilled down jobs that we can look into as an electrical engineer. I hope that this sharing has benefited all of you. And if you like more contents like this, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye.